Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. And in order to do this, we're gonna be using the official Google plugin called SiteKit, which allows you to do that integration like really seamlessly, as you'll see here in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and get on into it. I have a WordPress website here at tonyflorida.me. It's just a basic, uh, basic website. And what I wanna do first to add Google Analytics is go to my dashboard and go to plugins, and we're gonna add a new plugin and that new plugin is going to be called SiteKit, as I have alluded to. And the SiteKit by Google is an official plugin by Google. Um, it is a recommended way of installing Google Analytics on your WordPress website. So we'll go ahead and install that and activate it. And when that's finished, um, it's just gonna check compatibility. We can click on Start Setup here. And what this is gonna do is, um, this first step here, there's a couple steps that we go through, but this first step here is going to verify that you own uh, the website. So let's go ahead and use our Google account to verify that ownership. So we can click our username, uh, we can allow, allow permissions, and then allow uh, the, the sharing of data between that. So um, let's go ahead and proceed with the verification and see what we got here. And if that works out in just a couple seconds, we will be a verified owner and we are a verified owner of the TonyFlorida.me website. Now, um, do we wanna allow uh, my website to access Google account data? Opposite direction, yes, we can allow that. And then finally, set up Search Console. This is different from Google Analytics, but something very important for um, organic search traffic if you want your website to show up in uh, search results or at least have a way to understand how your website is appearing in search results. That's what you want to do. Uh, use Search Console to do that. So um, that's all linked up. Let's go to the dashboard back here, which will take us back into our WordPress website. And you'll see that we have connected Search Console. I won't talk about that anymore in this video. If you want to learn more about that, uh, check out some other videos on my channel on that topic. But let's go ahead and focus on Google Analytics. So let's connect that service here. And in order to do that, we're gonna go through some same type of thing with permissions. So sign in with our Google account and uh, allow the permissions that it's requesting. So we can go click through, allow those permissions yet again. And now it's connecting analytics, uh, Google Analytics to our WordPress website. Um, the way Google Analytics works is that you have an account. I mean, you can have multiple accounts within your Google Analytics account which can, you can kind of set it up however you want, um, but basically they're doing, uh, they're guessing how you want that set up. And by default, that's probably the best guess. So we have our account name is Tony Florida. The property name, in this case, the website name is tonyflorida.me, that's my domain name. And then the view can be uh, the default view, all website data. Um, my current time zone is Phoenix time, so I'll keep that the same. I'm in the United States. Let's go ahead and create this account. And this is this really simplifies the, the process of setting up Google Analytics, because normally you'd have to do this on the Google Analytics website, but we're doing it all from within WordPress. So last time here, same thing. Go through, accept the permissions with your Google account, and go ahead and allow that. And now we are finally going to be synced up and linked up to Google Analytics. And it's gonna redirect us to the Google Analytics uh, dashboard, I think, ultimately. Um, one last exception, accepting of terms and uh, settings. So let's proceed through that. And now we can, uh, it says your analytics account was successfully created. Go to my dashboard. So let's see where that takes us. So it does take us back into WordPress. And eventually over time, you'll see your Google Analytics data show up here. Um, but I highly recommend that you actually go to the Google Analytics website to see that. So we can go to analytics.google.com. And as long as you're signed into your Google account on this web browser, it should automatically load for you. And uh, we'll get rid of these initial pop-ups. It's telling you about dismiss, dismiss, okay. You won't have to deal with that anymore. And now we are uh, we are good to go with Google Analytics. So um, let let me, I'll give you a quick overview of Google Analytics. Uh, I won't go too deep with it, but let me just show you the real-time feature first. So if you go to the real-time section here and click on overview, I'm gonna make this, you know, uh, two thirds of the screen or so. Come back over to our website, make that the other third of the screen. 
And I'm going to go to, uh, we'll get out of here. I'm going to go to our uh, website, okay? And the the thing I like about this is um, we'll go to our actual website here and not the dashboard. Let's just go to the website. Okay, so here we go. We're on our website. Because I'm logged in as an admin user for, web, for WordPress, we're not going to see any real-time activity show up. It's only when you are, when you have a, a website visitor coming to your website, that's not an administrator or somebody that's logged in to your admin dashboard. And I really like that feature because uh, you're not going to mess up your analytics at all by visiting your own website, right? As long as you're signed in as the admin. So in order to trigger a real-time event, let's go ahead and uh, log out of here outside of our, uh, our WordPress website. And now let's visit our website and you'll see that show up on the left-hand side. And as we scroll around, you'll see on the right-hand side that we have a real-time user on our website. And this user is at the home page, as you can see here by this slash. And this user, which if you haven't guessed at this point, is me here down in Tucson, Arizona. Um, I hit the page about between 15 and 30 seconds ago. Um, that's really cool. So if I click on one of my blog posts here, 10, 10 reasons to like, comment, and subscribe, which is not really, there's no content in here, uh, you'll see that um, that user has moved to that page right now. So this is truly a real-time overview of the users on your website. Um, and you can imagine, like, as your website grows, or maybe you have a big website now to begin with, you can see tens, hundreds, thousands of visitors on your website at once and see where they're coming from all around the world. And, you know, you can zoom out from that to see the entire world in essence. So um, super cool. Let's go through some of these other features in Google Analytics. You also have your audience tab here. And in, inside the audience tab, you can see, um, and again, as time goes on, we don't have any data to work with now, but as time goes on, you'll see um, the number of users per day, per week. Uh, you can do it by hourly, weekly, monthly, uh, how many users you're getting, how many ses sessions those users are having. So if they come back to your website um, multiple times per day, that'll count as multiple sessions, how many page views they're having on your website. So if they go to the home page, then your about page, and then a blog post, another blog post, how many page views in aggregate you're getting, the bounce rate, the average session duration, all that stuff. And this is all broken down, can be broken down by the, the country that they're in, the city that they're in, the browser that they're using, all this, all these different types of analytics. Um, you can see that here, geography, language, location, technology, what type of browser, mobile devices, all that good stuff. You can even see like the screen size of your users, if they're on like small screen, large screen, all that stuff. So you can drill down in here and see that type of information. Under the acquisition section here, you can see where your users are coming from. Are they coming from Google search? Are they coming from uh, social media like Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, stuff like that? Or are they coming from a direct link from an email somewhere? You can see all of that information in here in some form or another in the acquisition section. Behavior section. Um, this is how, as it, as it sounds, how your users behave on your website. So what specific pages are they visiting and in what order are they visiting those pages? Something really cool I like is the behavior flow. And we won't see anything in here yet, but as you have data in your, um, your, your Google Analytics dashboard here, you'll see a visual graph representation of how your users are proceeding through your website, what page they're coming in, what page they're leaving at, and all that good type of data, that type of information, if, if that's how your mind works. Um, so that's cool. You also see some basic site speed statistics in this section as well. And um, there's also the conversion section. This is basically, I, I won't talk about it too much, but basically you can set up goals as far as what you want your users to do. Like if there's a, a product that you want them to buy and there's a, a, a checkout, cart checkout page, you can set up a goal for that. And if there's, um, I don't know, if they're if you're trying to get them to click on a specific link, like signing up for an email, you can set a goal for that, and then you can you can look at just those goals and uh, what type of conversions you're having with those goals as well. So um, that's the last option here. 
And uh, like I said, I don't want this to be about what Google Analytics is, but uh, more so of how to set it up for WordPress. So I think I went off track a little bit there, but hopefully this information is something that you find valuable. Um, if it is, I have a whole host of content on WordPress, um, analytics, all that good stuff, website hosting, SEO, page speed. So if that's something that you're interested in, in growing your business or your blog or whatever online presence you have, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. I have plenty more videos like that. And um, if you do, I'll see you in the next video.